Welcome back to the channel, I'm OP, and in today's episode, we will be going over some of the best highlights between BLG and NIP during the upper bracket round one phase of the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. It's a bit difficult, so they are going to be safe from that for now. And the backs are stopping NIP, and he's used the E. Oh, Elk, this is your problem. Someone is available for Photic as Juo. Hex flashes towards Elk, gets the root onto on the hook, is there. Photic trying to set it up as Aki moves in. One last rocket in the flash for first blood on in no man's land. And NIP start with two. Such an important laning phase for Photic and Juo. Elk and on, really quite uncharacteristic mistakes in them at the level one mark. Leaves them quite far behind. They fail themselves we'll see the bottom side, but. With on there and a control board in that brush. Not sure that's a the fight they want. Juo may have overstepped for this, honestly. Yeah. He's in tribrush right now. Fotik is trying to help out his support. Juo, uh, where are we? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Rookie has to try and bail the play out. And suddenly, On is the one in no man's land, but he uses Fotik as a way to get to his team. Puts Fotik into the play. Juo's going to go down. So is On. And Fotik gets a reset. Shun has to try and escape from this one as Fotik continues to fire away. Knight ults out of the play. I don't know how NIP went even on that. Oh, it's just been a, a, a huge amount of time bought by Juo. I mean, very happy as an ensemble unit from the other Shanji gonna go for Dominus up top here. Trying to get some damage down onto Bin. I'm not sure there's kill threat, but maybe I'm wrong there as he gets a couple more autos in. Bin looks for the Orn combo, gets the knockup. Doesn't get the knockup off of the Q though. And the Brittle flashed away from Shanji. Escaping with his life, but good combo from Bin there. Oh, on. on now has stepped way too far out of position. And just gives a free kill over. What is happening with Alcanon? Photo to control, they've Team. punished since. Uh, this series? Total opposite. We are seeing five and six scrubs almost every game here. NIP, the benefactors this time around. And, um, yeah, I mean, the thing is, most of the time LPL was just saying, look, six scrubs are too powerful to give over. And we can see now that, you know, Shanji is with the demolish with this. Could take, well, you can't quite get the demolish on the tower there. One of the problems against Orn is that he can actually stop the towers pretty effectively. Um, see right there, though. Shanji. Oh, not to punish a little tower. bit. Orn Horn is available if Bin wants to go for it, and he will. Looking for that first knockup. That's going to be there. Brittle comes comes Ari. The breath comes in to get the second Brittle, but Shanji spaces it. Knight moves over. The knockup is there, and the follow up is too easy. Charm for Rookie as well. Knight getting cheeky with it, saving that for a bonus follow up. Again, just more of Side uh... Knight. Maybe a chance for a pick. Shun's here as well. Where's where is Bin? Where's Bin in this equation? Because if he's there, he can throw an ult into this too. This is why we're saying side laning, very, very dangerous. He's showed himself on bot side, so he's not uh -oh. there to play himself. And Rookie's walked up. This is the problem. BLG, they have the side lane punish comp. Rookie's gonna make the magic happen, but you can't do much against the flagel from Shun. The combo is gorgeous, and that opens this map wide for BLG. Three kills, six stacks, and a continuation of an over 28 KDA on the... So Drake up in 15 seconds, NIP. They've got control in that bottom side. It feels like Bin going to try and move in and clear some of that vision. It's quite difficult to face check in, but I mean, even at level 12, he's so one ult, Here we go. Combo wants to draw here and a TP immediately. His on flashes away and it means Elk is caught out. On betrays his AD carry. And Elk goes down 30 second death timer. That's Drake for NIP. Oh, that's so unfortunate. If Elk, uh, if, if, I mean, if On gets hit, Elk survives and maybe they could have survived with On's ultimate, but that's not going to be the case. So NIP showcasing that while BLG might win through side lanes, the straight up 5v5s are much harder. The Nautilus and the Talia are very, very strong at denying different entries into the fight and finding that first pick. And BLG don't manage the execution of the approach. They're going to get punished. The problem is now, um, BLG would have loved to just cross map at that point. Just get themselves a, a push in and side lane. Can't really do that on bot side, I suppose. But they would have loved to get themselves something else. Right now, Photix caught. Can the charm land? Yes, you believe it can. Knight finds himself yet another. That's four kills. That's eight Dark Seal stacks. And that is BLG's hope in this series. On is caught once again, having a terrible game on the Alistair as Elk tries to save his support. On dodges away from the rocks. Draw has to follow and Rookie flashes to finish the kill. Now Shun gets into the action. It's the minion wave blocking these skill shots. Knight has that charm available. Needs to find ben. the angle. Horn, horn sounds. Charms followed up. Draw flashes just 
before the CC lands. Oh my gosh, that could have been a really dangerous point because you have an Orn, you can... Skill shots onto this mobile box in the mid lane as well. You press that W, you go up to about, you know, 50% movement speed for a short burst of speed. Now we see Encore out again! He does find a knock-up after Shog there, but... I mean, he just goes down and he's just feeding gold into Photic. At this point, that's his second kill of the game. Getting close to a second item there. Did he carry roll a little bit behind the curve there compared to Elk in terms of items, but even still, he'll be happy with that. And a tier one goes down again on. Oh, Knight just picks up the upgraded Malignants. So, BLG in River first here. Joel confident, though, to just walk on in and clear some of this vision. Shun starts the Drake off. BLG on the bot side of the play. NIP trying to contest. Okay, Bin trying to hold the door shut. He can press W into the first Nautilus hook, and indeed he does. That's the power of this Orn. Actually a front line compared to other champions, and we've got to come through into a flip. Shanji has flash on the flank, and here comes the wall. Wall comes through. It's a 50-50 on the spy, and it's taken by Elk, and the fight might be two. First kill already, and Elk stacking away. Knight dives in on the Ari to find a little bit more. Caught by a zap, though, his drove forced away on the top side. Elk getting one is plenty for BLG. That it is. So that's going to be one kill, one dragon, and NIP not two. So yeah. benefit, benefiting from both of these carries now. And it's like you said before, on maybe behind in the game. He's still level six, yeah. Alistair, and this time is Dwarf caught out. On sets up for the follow up there. The stun comes in. Can they actually finish the kill though? He's tagging one last jar. Will do the trick. Flick back from uh, Rookie onto his opposite member, but Knight gets out with his life. So that's 14 stacks now. Again, you get 5 AP per stack, so on top of the regular 20 on top of it, that's 70 AP. It's a very cheap item. Knight, if he goes towards that um, death cap as the next item, the full item of Nedra. Close to the potential death cap there. That is a terrifying pick. Knight, like you say, picking up Rookie's skin to take this matchup and looking phenomenal so far in this game. Trying to clear the wave here. Shun moves in to try and protect as well. Rookie does not get caught. And the wave will be cleared. Knight oh, he gets it! Last second on the rocks! And Rookie turns golden, but I don't think he can survive this one. It's Zeri to get the kill as Elk starts it off. And BLG, they've never won from a deficit this split, but they are making it. Oh, happen. Shun! The Orn Horn on top of Shun's engage. Immaculate gameplay in the mid lane, in the mid game. And now onto the Baron. Why did they give Knights Ari? That'll be the question which NIP will be asking after this game. A full stacked death note in the infantry. And Rookie's the one that fills the last oh, cool, ultimate. Shun on, looking to help him set up for that as well. Smashing through these turrets with the Baron. And guess what? They may have been behind before, but they know how to play with the lead, and they have that lead. It's 5,000 in their favor. With Baron on top, the horn horn sounds, and Rookie doesn't have a flash this time around. He doesn't even get to move. In fact, he did a flash up, but he didn't get to use it in time to flash up from bin too damn clean. And I think that phrase represents this entire team this year. They lose one in the best of fives, but they are knocking on the doors of the Nexus. Two cannons. He's set. got his own, uh, uh, that parasite in the top side as well. With Desh out and lock it too. BLG just continually getting more stats on the board. Yeah, weird to see the AD carry, the only one not with an upgrade. Oh. It's a flash in from Shanshi, but I don't think he's got the damage. And nobody there to follow it up. Aki just clearing the wave as this goes on. And Knight now trying... Wait, Elk just dives into three. And in the meantime, Draw's caught out. How does nobody punish Elk for that? 1v3, he dives forward, and he's still on half his HP. No, he's not, because Votic just autos him. Elk with a massive misstep, and now they dive under the tower. Who cares if you've got no AD carry? Rookie is going to try and survive here. Knight charging forwards again. Rookie versus the world here in the mid lane. Bins behind him as Sean dashes forward once more. The knockback is there. Aki has a bit of. I mean, Bins just invincible. Who can kill him? Who can He's kill been him? He's for like 10 minutes straight. Bins still got half his HP. Rookie now turns golden. Flash still there, but it's not going to come through. Another double. 11, 0, and 5. Knight has taken over against one of the best mid laners in the world. Knight gets his signature Ari and. He dominates NIP. He makes them rue the day they ever made it to double elimination. BLG, your first seed. Knight, your spring split MVP, will go 3-1 and one against NIP. What domination. BLG.
They dropped a game against NIP, but they remind us very, very swiftly why they are the best team. See the uh, sign. These were some of the best highlights from the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs matchup between BLG and NIP. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.